for lunge is you're going to step back a little bit further than you think you can and drop your back knee straight down. Ideally, it gets right under your hip. Each time you drop your knee down, you can place it on the ground and then pull your heel up to your bum. Try to avoid arching the low back as you do so. To help you do this, you can think about pulling your pubic bone up towards your navel and squeeze your same side glute. Here I've added the same side arm lifting and then I'll eventually take it in over to a side bend with that little squeeze. But right now I'm just going to lift that arm to get a little bit more stretch. Here's that side bend. For each of these side bends, really think about lifting up and over. Keep your backside glute on. Go for a nice deep quad stretch. Again, trying to level out your back, not letting it arch too much. Switch sides. We're going to stand back up. Legs together. Other foot goes back. Same thing. Knee drops mostly straight down. Pull the heel up towards your bum. That heel lift needs to be a very, very active hamstring and glute activity. So you're bringing the pubic bone up toward the navel, working on your balance. This is active flexibility to open the front of the hips so we can get nice long lines in the air. We're going to add that arm up. You can add it at any time. And then we can even think about getting into that nice stretch. So on that fifth one, we hold down. I'm going to take it into a side bend. Feel free to use your hand to support you. Again, it's a sense of lifting up and over, pulling your belly button deep to your spine. Deep quad stretch. Turn on your glute. Same side being stretched. Avoid arching the back. For compressions, the big point is to find a distance between your hands and feet that works for you in challenge. You always want to start with your shoulders right over the knuckles. The activity goes push, lift the ribs, and then press, all the while keeping the shoulders directly over the knuckles. The negative is just as important as the positive, so as I push and lift to come up, I'm going to keep pushing and lifting my ribs even as I slowly lower my knees down. You can add a little calf raise for a little extra compression. We're going for three here. Extra bonus points if you can turn your elbow pits forward the whole time and maintain your rotation. After your last one, you can press up and back, walk your feet back a little bit further, and we'll go into some leg circles. One leg kicks up, and you draw four or five circles in each direction. The important thing here is that you're maintaining an active push through the shoulders. The shoulder blades are coming up into the ears, the ears rest between the arms. Not only am I pressing my shoulders up toward my ears, I'm wrapping the outer edge of my shoulder blade toward my ribs. After five, you can take a nice lateral stretch with the legs. Don't worry about the shoulders for this part and explore that side body. I really like to play with the bent and straight leg combination to make sure I'm stretching my quads as well. Second side, same as first, a little bit louder, a little bit worse. Once again, push and wrap. I'm thinking about the outer edge of the armpits going toward the floor and my breastbone lifting toward the ceiling inside of my body. It's a very round upper back. I like to think of myself as a stegosaurus popping balloons on the ceiling with my spikes in my upper back. Again, we're going to take it into that side stretch up and over. You get to walk that opposite arm hand back with a little more support and move around a bit. We're just trying to limber up anything that feels tight. You can see for a lat stretch, you're going to sit back in the child's pose, walk your hands as far in front of you as you can, bring your shoulder blades up into your ears. Palms toward each other, thumbs up, elbows straight. Wrap your armpits toward the floor and then suck your breastbone up and away from your thighs. Keep a sense of heaviness in your sitting bones back and down past your heels. This is an active stretch. Try and breathe into anything that feels tight. side plank, start in the front plank with feet wide. Roll to the side, arm goes up, low side bend, high set bend, circle around to front. Repeat. Arm up, low side bend, high side bend, circle around and repeat. Each time make sure you fully return to your front plank. 
As you lower your body toward the floor on these side bends, try not to collapse into the floor. Keep pushing through your supporting shoulder. Imagine your body is between two panes of glass on those side planks, and you're just smearing in between them like a little fly pot in between them. Big arcs with the shoulders. Try not to stick your booty out behind you. Here we're going to flip over for tendon stretch. This is a Pilates space exercise and it's also a handstand training exercise. My palms are on the floor, fingers toward my bum. Come up to a tabletop, squeeze the booty. You're going to swing your hips through your hands without touching the floor and then back to your table. Each time finding that straight line. Throughout the entire movement, you're really pressing through the arms. You never get to sit on the floor. You're trying to clear the floor entirely, not even touch it with your butt. For those of us with shorter arms, this is a nice big challenge. You've got to really curl through the spine and bring your hips back. Lots of effort around the ribcage. Lots of effort around the tuchus. To finish, we're going to do the candle dance. The idea is you're holding a candle in your hand, and it's dripping with wax. If you spill the candle wax, you're out of the game. Here I'm doing it rather fast, but you can always slow your video down to find the pattern. Once my hand comes away from my pelvis, I'm trying to keep my arms straight and really focus through my side bend. Here's a side view, other arm. I'm not perfect here. You don't have to be. But do try to get your arms super straight as you avoid spilling that hot wax. Again, moving dynamically and quickly can increase your warmth, and that's the point. We are warming up. Ciao!